Hey guys, welcome back. For today's video tutorial, I'm gonna work on a new sensor that is L3G 4200D. Now, to gain more knowledge about this sensor, how it works, what are the specifications of for this sensor, let's have a look over the website for that and it's controleverything.com and here we go for the sensor. And let's see what we got for the sensor. So L3G 4200D is a motion sensor, ultra stable 3 axis gyroscope. So these are some of its features as you can see. It's a gyro at full scale ranges plus minus 250 to plus minus 2000 degrees per second. Sensitivity is good, it's precise as you can see. It's a highly unstable over the temperature at the time. And you can also purchase the sensor from this very site. I will be interfacing the sensor, gyroscopic sensor that is L3G 4200D with a particle photon and for that let's go to the resource tab to get the code and here comes the particle code sample as you can see on my screen. Now you can download the code as zip file from this very site from here the link is provided there. Now you can also have the code from github repository that is control everything community. Now let's have a look over the hardware connections we require to fulfill the interfacing condition of this particular sensor let's have a look over that this here is our sensor that is lpg 42 d now i'm gonna interface the sensor with a particle photon which you are able to see on my screen now the question arises how to make a connection among the sensor other i2c devices and the particle photon and how to make the connection a lot easier so the answer is this I2C sheet. This is available on the website controleverything.com. Now gently place the particle photon over the I2C shield as you can see on my screen and gently make the connection among the sensor and the I2C shield using a connecting cable. Now while making this connection, a rule has to be followed and it says that uh, the brown wire of the cable should be connected to the ground terminal of the sensor and similarly we have to process this rule for the I2C shield also. So as far as connections are done, this will look like this. Now the last part is to power up the particle photon and here comes a micro USB cable into the picture. Then gently insert it over the power jack and make it on. So we are done with the connections part for the hardware section. Now what we require is a code so that we can have a view over the interfacing and the working of this sensor. Well, let's have a look over the particle code so that we can interface and explain and have a working for this sensor. So the first step is to log into the website github.com and here search for the repository that is control everything community which you are able to see on my screen. Now get over it and here search for the sensor L3G 4200D. Now here comes the 3 axis gyroscope. Now this is the particle code we are willing to look forward to explore. But before that, let's have a look over the instructions we need to follow thoroughly. Now, uh, we have to log into particle uh, photon and set up the device and the steps are being provided on this very link. Let's have a look over this link for better clarification and doubts. As you can see, all the relevant information is being provided, the commands, installation, connection, everything. You need to follow it carefully. Next step is to download the code, go to the online ED and copy the particular code for the particle. Now let's have a look over the place, the link where we have to follow this process. You have to copy this entire code here, name, everything you need to follow here. The last thing is to verify and flash the particle code on the photon and the code output will be displayed on the dashboard. As you can notice, this is the dashboard link. Uh, you can go through it, all the relevant information for the output and X, Y and Z axis as you can see. It will be displayed here. Now let's have a look over the code, particle code, it's a dot .in extension file and we need to go through it. As you notice first of all we have included the libraries application.h, spark wiring, i2c.h and address of the sensor is defined as 0x68. Uh, this is the initialization of some of the variables, here variables have been set. Now in the void setup function we have initialized I2C communication as master initialized serial communication and the baud rate equal to 9600. Now for the writing part where we have been giving commands it says that we have selected control list one having address 0x20 and the command send is normal mode xyz axis have been enabled. 
the writing command is 0x0 next we have selected control register 4 having request 0x23 and we have sent the command for continuous update and full scale range of plus minus 2000 degrees per second now command for that is 0x3 so we are done with the command sending now we want to data to be retrieved and for that we have to read the data register that starts from 40 it's a decimal equivalent and we have request requesting and reading 6 bytes of data for gyroscopic measurement that includes x, y and z axis as we are done with the reading part we have been calculating here the conversion part of the data takes place here which is according to the data sheet of L3G4200D as we are done with the conversion part the last part is to display the conversion the values we have been taking so it's x, y and z axis of rotation and it's perfectly formatted as you can see in the entire code now what we require is to show the practicality of this code so why not we have a look for that also now let's have the practicality of this code which is very interesting in itself and for that we have to copy this entire particle code for the sensor L3G4200D and open up the build terminal for uh, copying and pasting the entire code saving the code as you can see we have to create a new file here L3G4200D now here the file name is here now paste the entire code we have just copied and save the firmware verify and compile the code and now we have to check for the flash while flashing the code we have to check for magenta flash which will confirm the authenticity of this code that code is good to go we can have the output to be displayed on the screen yeah just now we have the magenta flash and you can see the notification down there flash successful now we have to open up the dashboard terminal so that we can have the output to be displayed on the screen and here we go As you can see, the gyrometer will have the rotational x, y, and z axis. Uh, it's almost stable, as you can notice. All the three values in the directional x, y, z axis for the rotation. And when I try to rotate the sensor, there will be a change in all the values regarding the three perpendicular axis of the rotation x, y, and z. And it's as I keep rotating the sensor, the values keep on changing. Yeah, that's correct. As you can see x y z axis of rotational values are being changed as i rotate or move the sensor l3g 4200d now this is how the sensor and along the particle board works now what do we require is to see the benefits the features and the applications and let's have it we have just seen the hardware connections the explanation and the working for the code for the l3g4 to D. Now the L3G 4200D is a low power 3 axis angular rate sensor able to provide unprecedented stability of zero rate level and sensitivity over temperature and time. It includes a sensing element and IC interface capable of providing the measured angular rate to the external world to a digital interface I2C SPI. It has a full scale of plus minus 250, plus minus 500, plus minus 2, triple zero DPS and is capable of measuring rates with a user selectable bandwidth. Due to this, it is being included in a lot of applications like gaming and virtual reality, input devices, motion control with MMI, man machine interface, GPS applications and a lot. Well, the sensor can be purchased from the website as you can see on my screen from here and you can also have the code from the resource tab now you can also have the code from github repository that is control everything community in the end i would like to make it clear that in case of any issue you can have your queries on control everything.com and you can post your comments on the community page now for blogs and articles you can reach me on instructables.com and to subscribe more video tutorials go to our youtube channel now i hope you enjoyed this video a lot and have a good one yourself thanks for watching